Hi, it's Anne Marine. Welcome to another 30 Days to Distinction tip, which is part of the 30 Days to Distinction Challenge, where for 30 days, every single day, I am sharing a tip to support you in becoming distinguishable, uncopyable, and irresistible to your ideal client. So you are the choice versus just a choice when they're ready to make a decision. And today is tip 29. Now I have spoken to so many aspiring entrepreneurs over the last decade or so who were all at the beginning of their journey of finding their thing, their inner brilliance, as I like to call it. Disclosure, I can so relate to this. By the way, I can so relate to this as this has been my own journey as well. Now at the core of our inner brilliance is often an innate talent a strength that comes naturally to us. And because it comes naturally to us, it often is easy to discredit. So we end up searching and learning and doing more searching and doing even more learning, more searching, more learning, trying to find our thing. What is that thing? And sadly for many, the journey of learning and searching never really comes to an end because despite how hard they work at trying to get clear, it really doesn't work or not to the level that they really want. And that's because they're missing one fundamental thing. They continue to disregard that innate talent, that strength, their inner brilliance. However, herein lies the gold. It's never too late. So here are some of the things that I've learned over the years, and I want to share them with you today. And that is about doubt, not letting doubt take you out. In fact, I say doubt is a liar. So stop doubting yourself. Doubt is a lying thief. Tell doubt to off. Okay, stop searching for the answers that are already in front of you. You just need to look with renewed hope and expectation. It's there, right there. Take time to dig a little bit deeper and maybe wipe off some of the smudges off your lens that you're looking through so that you can see more clearly in front of you. Start listening to the people around you who continue to comment about certain aspects of you and how you show up. This can often be evidence of that inner brilliance that you bring to the table that's unique to you. Start listening to the compliments that people say to you. Don't discredit what they say. They give you a compliment and you go, oh, anyone can do that. Guess what? You are just devaluing yourself. And what you're actually doing is it's a bit rude to that person who's just giving you that compliment too, isn't it? Really? I mean, I don't want to put any um, shame on that on top of you. I'm not doing that at all. I'm just bringing home a point that if someone says a compliment to you, get comfortable in saying, thank you. All right, dear. All right. Now stop looking at what other people are doing They don't have your strengths. They don't have your inner brilliance. They haven't walked your journey. They haven't developed or honed your strengths, nor do they have the same passion and purpose as you, nor do you have that which is reflected from them. Find yours, what that is, because when you do, it won't seem like work. It will flow. Yes, you do need to take action and lots of action, but it's not going to seem hard because you are loving what you do. Trust me, I know it's been my journey from the age of 15, if truth be known. So I breathed it. I have lived through it. That actually is my inner brilliance to help other people identify what that inner brilliance is for them. It's why I loved being a career coach several decades ago, helping people discover what their meaningful roles were, what they were gifted um, to become, you know, and where they could find meaning in their work. It's why I love helping entrepreneurs discover their inner brilliance. It's why I love interviewing guests and creating an environment and a platform that enables me to showcase their brilliance on my podcasts. It's why I do what I do. So my question to you is this, what's your why? What's your inner brilliance? Go ahead and do some journaling around that today 
in your take action guide. And I cannot wait to hear what you come up with. And if you haven't already downloaded the take action guide, go ahead and do that at industrythoughtleaderacademy.com forward slash distinction. Stay tuned because as always, I'll be back with one final tip tomorrow. See you then. Mm-hmm.